Somebody else, your master Lee. And Lulu. Man, what is with the influx of all these games now that are set in like ancient China? It's honestly, it, it makes me feel proud. Like finally, my my peeps are represent. Oh. But not only that, but like they look really freaking good. I mean, a lot of the games are coming from China, so I get it. Right, it, it makes sense. Now, Ninja Team, which is a Japanese company, famous is making a Chinese history-based game, and they're known for their action. I tell you, baby, uh, if I was a younger, I don't think I would have appreciated this as much. Mm -hmm. When I was growing up, because I actually studied in, in uh, Taiwan as a, in, in the, uh, back in uh, high school, mm -hmm. and we had to learn Chinese history. Like, Chinese history is freaking long, right? It's not like American history, 200 years. It's like thousands and thousands of years, and it can be boring as F. Like, those were the classes where... I, I, I'll be honest, like I just fell asleep in them. And I went to a very small private school, right? It was a bilingual school. It was just getting off the ground. So my first year there, I had ninth grade by myself. So I had to take Chinese history by myself. And Wang Lao, so, you know, bless her heart, was kind of boring. So like halfway through the class, I would just fall asleep. And she would have to like slap By me to wake me up. And you are Babe, brave trust to me, fall it's asleep. It's so <laughs> boring. This Chinese history stuff. It would be like she would okay, go wash your face. Break. If she would make me get up, go wash my face to wake myself up. Oh my god! So I've always had an aversion to it because it was just I always thought it was boring. But as I growing up and I started playing games and during this period, and you've seen like like the wuxia films, the kung fu movies, they're amazing and like the history about. The, these periods, especially during this time frame where they, they call it the romance of the three kingdoms, amazing drama, amazing sort of political intrigue, warring of the nations. It's it's really quite awesome. So this is set during that time period, which is like 2000 years ago. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to see what they do with the gameplay here. But I wish I, I was turned on to Chinese history a lot sooner rather than bored to death of it. <laughs> you were a kid. Don't be harsh. You know what? This is the, one of those things when I realize how any subject matter can be interesting if you had the right teacher teach it to you. Anything. All right, in any case, let's check this out, y'all. Uh, by the way, if you want some more cool commentary, well, subscribe. And if you want some hotness, check out my fantasy show. Not boring there. No, no. You're going to love it. <laughs> yes, I can see it. This is an Xbox exclusive? Fate intended for us to meet here. Oh. Told you what they make is intense. Oh. Oh. Right, this might be a little bit of exaggerated Chinese history. The, like the fighting though, man. Oh. That's the one thing they're known for. The combat systems. That's a lot of pork if they could beat it. They make a lot of pork buns with that. Intense. It is. You know the one thing I really freaking love about games set in this period, and I'm kind of glad that they've waited almost a generation to to make these kind of games. Because like when I was growing up, Japan was still at the forefront of making video games. So many a lot of the early games were kind of set in with a tinge of like Japanese history. Ninja Gaiden really honestly been one of the big ones, right? Not many Chinese based history type of games, but Chinese games. If you're gonna have good combat like this, like Kung Fu is not just a matter of like you hit, fight, and you do a triple combo kind of thing. It's like parry. It's almost like a dance, right? So the, the Kung Fu, like, ching back and forth. 
requires a kind of I would call sophistication in gameplay of being able to parry, dodge, and and, and fight back. And I think we're now at a point where we're really good at designing these kind of mechanics mm -hmm. so that it feels like you're like really actively engaged in combat versus just like button mashing where you just like click press bam, 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 that kind and of thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's it, there's a sophistication to it that it seems like more and more of these kind of games are trying to embrace and design around, which I, I freaking love. Mm -hmm. Looks amazing though. It is. And I have to agree. The combat on that one. It's intense. It is intense. I'm just curious about what, how they're going to tell the story because there's, I, I'm caring a lot more about um, the way they tell these kind of stories in these open worlds and, and, and just being immersed in that. It's there's just so much rich history here. of like thousands of years, baby. Thousands. I know. That's why China history is so boring. It's so freaking long. Oh my God. I would probably fail. Honestly, I don't even know how I passed. I don't remember like any of it to this day. I don't remember. And, and the names, like, because you know, the classes I had were like half Chinese, half English. My Chinese wasn't that great at that point. So maybe like second or third grade level. So I'm trying to think like, did I write my papers or did I submit stuff back in English or did I just make it up and she just let me pass? Because like, <laughs> I don't think I should have passed. I don't remember anything from it. If you're by yourself, that would be so mean if they're going to fail you. 